Hello guys, in this After Effects tutorials, I want to show you how you can create a retro grid animation like this one. So stick around, let's get started. So I am starting with a new composition, feel free to choose your own settings. Right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. We're going to name this BG. And then make sure we make comp size and then hit OK. Then we're going to add a ramp effect, gradient ramp effect. We're going to set the colors quickly. Then we hit OK. So we're going to duplicate this BG layer, Ctrl D on your keyboard to do that. And I'm going to name this grid. Let's add a grid effect on this layer. Change the size from to width and height. Then we're going to change the width and height to 90 each. Let's change this border to 1. And let's expand the feather and make the feather 0 0.5 each for the width and height. Add a linear wipe effect to this same grid layer. So we're going to collapse all these other effects so that we can see. Set transition completion to 40 and set wipe angle to 0 by 180. Set feather to 300. Now we're going to add a fill effect to this as well. We're going to set the color to something like blue. We can change this later. Hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property and set the scale to 1160. Toggle your timeline to reveal the 3D box. So we're going to ch change this grid effect to 3D layer. We're going to set X rotation to negative 90. And hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position property. Set the X position to 960. Then the Y position to 1645.6. And the Z position to 5721. So we're going to control D on our keyboard to duplicate this grid layer and we're going to pull it right up to make it go up this way so that we can have it both up and down. Now we're going to add a camera. So right click on your timeline, go to new and add a new camera object. We're going to leave it at 35 mm as default. Then you hit OK. We're going to expand the camera option and then expand the transform. We're going to move to 7 seconds forward in time and then set a keyframe for point of interest, position, and then the camera orientation. So hit you on your keyboard so that we only have those properties visible. So we're going to come to this point right here. For the Z parameters on the point of interest, we're going to change it to 3112. We're going to set the position for the Z to 3055.4. For the orientation, we're going to change this to 27 degree on the Z value. Select all your keyframe. Hit F now on your keyboard to ease ease. Now select this and open your graph editor. We're going to make this look like this. Then for this, we're going to make this look like this on the curves. So we're going to select the point of interest and position keyframe, the last one here, and move it to 8 seconds, 17 frames forward in time. Then we're going to select this orientation and just slightly offset it to start later. And this is OK. So if you preview now, this is what we're going to have. So now we have the camera moving through this infinite retro grid design I am the one, the way you turn down the after creating your animation you can add your text or you can add any element of your choice or even your logo to reveal or a human for music videos so this is how you can create a retro grid animation inside adobe after effect without the use of any third party plugin 
If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all the support. So in whatever way you're able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.